Morning everyone, so today I'm heading down to my mate Adams to pick up some Driftworks uh, lower control arms which are adjustable um, along with a set of Geo Master front tension rods um, which will hopefully cure the problem with my steering so yeah, he lives all the way down in um, the Whitstable area which is around sort of an hour from me in Kent so yeah, off we go There's Adam. Yeah. Yeah, Adam sure. mate. You good? Sorry I'm late. Hey. Yeah. Okay, so these are the arms that I got off of Adam. They're the Driftworks adjustable lower control arms with the adjustable bump stops and the Geomaster track rods that have got the slight kink in them to allow for a little bit of extra clearance when you're full locking but that doesn't bother me because I'm not building this car for drift it's just nice to have the adjustability there as and when you need it Cool, so I'm now en route to uh, Jordan's which is down in Tunbridge uh, again it's about a 45 minute drive from Whitstable down to uh, uh, Tunbridge Wells. So yeah, just going down there really to hang out and um, chill and just go through some of the gravity show things. And yeah, so I'll see you there. So we're over here at uh, Slam UK HQ. This is uh, Kieran's GT86 full rocket bunny wide body kit. Um, new edition Workmeister S1s, um, front and back. He's got AP racing uh, brakes front and back. The one sort of distinctive feature about this car is the mad wing on the rear, along with the um, killer diffuser. I'm pretty sure if he reversed onto someone, they'd be losing a few limbs. But yeah, the wing is mad. This used to be white, um, and you could actually see the body body kit and all the pop rivers and whatnot. He's just recently had it sprayed black with everything smoothed in. So that's the front of Kieran's. You can see the intercooler there. It is turboed. Um, it's pretty sick, to be fair. I wish he was out here, but he's sitting there watching Tokyo Drift. So here's the front. Inside, I don't know how well you can see that, but he's got pod gauges built into the dashboard there. Obviously, Momo steering wheel, bride seats. Might have seen these two lurking in the background. This is Ryan's A5. It's a two litre turbo diesel, so it's a two litre TD, uh, TDI even. Got a three litre non back boxed exhaust. It's running forged three piece, three SDM wheels, and obviously on air ride. I think he's done some trick stuff to the front. And then Connor's car is a Mark IV R32. And then the rest of the squad, you got Jordan's Gravity and Slam UK show van. I say show van, it's a company van over there. Tony's little Civic EP3, which he may or may not be getting rid of. So we'll see what he does. Ryan's wheels, pretty sick. So like I said to you guys, it's a three piece wheel. It's a barrel, lip and face. Um, I believe the face, yes, yeah, face mounted um, on there. And he's also got the red, adenized red hardware to go with it, just to match the rest of the theme in the car. Up front, you know, again, just keep it clean, keep it simple. I believe he's done the grill on the front and he's also got a red carbon splitter, I believe, there underneath. So that's Ryan's car. Keep it clean, keep it simple. Okay, so this is Connor's car. Connor's car is a Mark IV Golf R32. Um, it's recently been wrapped in a, I think it's a satin gray and it's got like a decaled effect down the side the number plate is jesus r because the car is nicknamed jesus loud because it is extremely <laughs> extremely loud um you know we, we can't start up because it's quite late in the evening the car is running verin wheels i think i've pronounced that correctly all round they are a sort of um style of messer wheel but uh, they do look pretty sick to be fair I'd hate to want to park this car because I'd end up probably curbing all the wheels because they poke out so much. So just let me know what you guys think of the wheels in the comments below. 
So as you can see from the back, this is where all the Jesus Loud happens. Um, it's got twin exit exhaust as you'd expect from the R32, but I don't think this system has any boxes whatsoever coming out of the V6 engine, hence why it is so loud. But uh, yeah, so that's Connor's car. You can see the fitment from here with Ryan's car in the background creeping.